Hey everybody. So yeah, here I am doing a Facebook Live. I wasn't intending on doing a Facebook Live today, but here we are. Um, I've been tagged a bunch recently and sent some, uh, been sent some private messages in the past couple of minutes um, about some big lick drama going on again, because it's always going on. Um, so someone sent me a video and I could not help but to react because I was sick to my stomach seeing that this horse is two years old and being ridden this way. Um, so this trainer is uh, in North Carolina that I've seen two hours from my house and there's no point in going on this person's profile and uh, saying anything because he has since deleted his videos and uh, made his stuff private. But I'm not trying to, you know, have anyone bad mouthed or anything. I'm just trying to share with you guys what is going on even now um, to this day and very active in, in the horse industry, this big lick stuff. So anyway, watch with me uh, before he deleted the video, I saved it. So I'm gonna share this little video with you guys. Oh, isn't that precious? Two years old. <sighs> Let's see a screenshot of that little wonderful uh, video. Okay, so let's just talk about what we see here in this video of the uh, Tennessee Walker um, being ridden in the big lick discipline. I don't really call it a discipline because it's just a bunch of um, hillbilly bull stuff, bull crap going on. So anyway, um, so yeah, this horse is two years old, according to the rider, including according to the person who made the video. And let's just talk a little bit about what we see about all this extravagant equipment on this horse, because it is numerous. So let's start at the front because there's so much going on and so much crap on this horse. You know, we got to start somewhere. Let's start at the front. So we see that the horse has blinders on and uh, from the research that I've done and from the big lick riders that have told me the purpose of this equipment is so that the horse can feel the air so that he can move bigger so he can feel the air and move bigger. So we see that we have blinders on the horse. We see a gigantic shank bit in the hands of someone that I'm not sure how often he rides, if you know what I mean, you know, no hate, no hate, um, in the hands of a rider, giant shank bit. And I've seen these bits in person at a show and they are paper thin and they are twisted, twisted kind of wire, barbed wire looking bits. Um, I'm sure it's not actual barbed wire, but uh, so anyway, and then we see um, that the horse has stretchies on. So the stretchies are on both of his uh, feet so that he uh, has some resistance when he is moving so that again, he moves bigger. And of course we have the wonderful stacks and chains that are the performance package and makes the horse also move in this hyper exaggerated way. Let's see another uh, screenshot. And if you're just joining me, uh, let's go back to that great video. What in the hillbilly hell is happening? Did you happen to notice that the horses, the, the rider saddle is slipping off to the left? And also take a look at this screenshot. Oh, no, 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 not that one. This one, here we go. Okay, his spurs are in the horse's stifle. <laughs> the saddle is about to fall off of his tail and the rider's spurs are literally in the horse's stifle. Anyway, let's go back to what all extravagant equipment that we have on this horse. We've talked about the blinders. We've talked about the massive shank bit in the hands of a rider that I'm not sure how often he rides. And we've talked about the stretchies, the stacks and the chains. I also see 
um, the bracelets as they call it. It's probably more chains around the fetlock of the horse's hind feet as if the chains around the front feet weren't enough. We've got them on the back feet too. And take a look at that tail. It is bundled up into a knot. How do they do that, you wonder? Well, when the horse is a yearling, they will cut the tendon of the horse's tail so that it's more pliable, so that they can knot it up and then put it in a tail brace. When the horse's tail is in a tail brace, he cannot move his tail properly because it's configured so that it'll stand up and cascade down. Quite frankly, I have no desire to look at my horse's butthole that closely. And I have no, I, I don't know why they think that that's, that's nice. Looking at horse's buttholes and, and having the tail cascading, please. One more thing that I want to point out. Let's, let's see the video one more time. I'll put it up in, um, uh, I'll put it up in the corner for you guys. There we go. Um, so. The big lick riders say that the horses only wear these performance packages um, when, when it's show season. Well, guess what? It's not show season for anybody. So why is this horse all ready for show season? Oh, that's right. Big lick shows aren't monitored by the USEF. The USEF doesn't want to touch big lick shows. So it's a free for all. They're probably having shows right now. Now, I'm not sure about that 100%, but the big lick riders that I have been in communication with have said that the horses are only uh, wearing their stacks and their chains during show season, which is, by the way, from uh, approximately uh, March through November. So most of the year. They're wearing their stacks and chains and their feet are trimmed to insane angles. Um, so yeah, they live in their stacks and their chains. They live in stalls and then they go out and they trot down gravel driveway. Apparently that's a thing. Nice footing, nice and hard. By the way, again, this horse is two years old. You know what my horse was doing when he was two years old? Nothing. He was sleeping in a field. He was eating. He was learning Maybe some groundwork, definitely some groundwork, but he wasn't being ridden by an overgrown man whose saddle is slipping off to the left and having every single piece of equipment you can find in your barn put on his body so that he can move in an exaggerated way. My point is, with the big lick stuff, why not just let the horse travel the way he's going to travel and through correct training and time and patience, then make the gates more expressive. That doesn't happen when the horse is two years old. And by the way, if the horse is uh, in, a, in a full shank bridle uh, and being ridden this way, and he's two years old now, when was he started under saddle, I wonder? In the womb? As a yearling? Was this dude riding him as a yearling? Makes you think. <sighs> All right, so one more time we're gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna be done. Here we go. I can't, this is why I can't stop, you know, my, what I'm talking about with big lick and the big lick industry. There are so many better ways to showcase the Tennessee walking horse. The Tennessee walking horse is a wonderful breed. And the Tennessee, the uh, big lick riders come at me all the time and they say, oh, I'm, I'm against Tennessee walkers. No, no, no. I love Tennessee walkers. I'm against you. <laughs> You're riding your two-year-old horse with all that crap on him and showing him in his stacks and his chains and God knows what else is being done to him behind closed doors. That's what I want to know. And they also say that um, they have very, very strict rules at their uh, shows and they have a high compliance rate. Well, that's good. But why? Why do you have why do you have to have all these strict rules? Were uh, people doing crazy things back in the 70s, 80s, 90s last year? Yeah, of course they were. They were burning their horses 
with chemicals and soaring their horses. That is still a thing. And maybe it's not the people that are showing. By the way, show season is kaput right now because of coronavirus. So I'm again, I'm not sure why this horse is ready with his stacks and chains on, even though show season is not open right now and we don't know when it's going to start up again. So I don't know what's happening with that. Um, but I, I'm, I'm just, I'm worried. I'm concerned about what's going on with the riders who aren't necessarily trainers, who are, you know, backyard riders who are trying to copy stuff like this that they see online. What lengths are they going to with their horses to make them move like that horse, like the horse that was on the video? What are they doing? Because maybe they don't have the experience with the big lick industry. What are they doing to their horses, the backyard riders? That's what I'm most concerned about. The laws need to change for the big lick industry. We've got to take the stacks and the chains off. It's too much. Let the horse freaking move with normal shoes that protect his hooves instead of feeding your ego just because your horse is moving and flinging his legs around. Take the time and the patience to train your horse to move in a more expressive way. But I'm telling you, you haven't taken the time and the patience if he's moving like that at two years old because you probably hopefully just started him under saddle even though two years old is still very young <sighs> all right i'm gonna be done you guys know where to find me <laughs> i've got more information on my youtube video um let me know what you guys think about this it needs to end in my opinion thanks for watching bye